Hello, I'm Richard Norman, the Services Training Leader for Monitoring Diagnostics with GE Grid Solutions UK Limited. This how-to video I will show you how to replace the sensor on your Hydron M2 or M2X, backing up your monitor history, updating the new sensor parameters, and if deemed necessary, deleting the previous sensor history. When would you replace your sensor? Normally you will receive either of these service condition alarms. Replace sensor soon. We would recommend a sensor replacement within 90 days. Or replace sensor now. For continued transformer monitoring, we would recommend that you replace the sensor immediately. When you receive your replacement sensor, unbox it to confirm its condition. Included in the box may be a Hydran firmware sensor upgrade disc. The instructions for this firmware use and upgrade are included on the disc. Leave the sensor protective cap in place until you want to install the sensor. This cap offers protection from most environmental contamination. Also confirm you have the correct sensor parameter sheet. Compare the sensor serial number with the included sensor parameter sheet. When you have connected with the device operating software, it is recommended to back up the device history if this doesn't happen automatically. To back up the monitor history, level 1 password is required. This is currently 1253. You can then choose which fields to back up. In this example, I will only back up the short and long term memory and service alarms. The history backup may take a very long time depending on the amount of history and connectivity speed. The history is stored here on your local server. Ensure that you power off and isolate your device from all sources and supplies. Next, completely close the oil supply valve. Loosen the securing ring grub screw. Using the supplied one inch C-spanner, loosen the securing ring, remove and store out of the way. If the conduit length allows, you may remove the unit with these in place. Now ease the device off the sensor. Disconnect the electrical quick connection. Mm -hmm. 
Lay the unit out of the way. With the correct tool, with smooth jaws, loosen and remove the old sensor fully. Have a container in place to catch the waste oil. Clean the internal threads of any old tape or anti-leak compound. Tape the new sensor as shown. Ensuring no tape overhangs the sensor orifice. Three to five wraps should be sufficient. Relocate the securing ring. Ensure the bleed port finishes at the vertical or 12 o'clock position when fully tightened. Start the sensor threads by hand to prevent any cross threading. Now using the same smooth jawed tool, re-tighten the new sensor, ensuring the bleed hole finishes at the top. Next to bleed the sensor. Whether installing with a heat fin adapter or not, the procedure is the same. Ensure a suitable container is in place to catch the waste oil. During bleeding, ensure you fully open the supply flange to allow unimpeded thermal oil flow. When this is complete and air-free, close the bleed screw and clean down the sensor and electrical connections. Relocate the device and reconnect the cable quick connect, remembering to align the keyway. Now slide the device back over the sensor, ensuring it is fully located over the sensor o-ring. Retighten the securing ring, tighten fully, ensure the reduced portion is aligned with the bleed port. Retighten the grub screw. This will prevent the securing ring from loosening during system operation. Next, re energize the device when safe. Reconnect with the device via the operating software to enter the new sensor operating parameters. Note, it is possible to enter these parameters with a Hygiene HMI, but this can take a long time to scroll through the numbers. To update the sensor parameters, you will need to enter the level 2 password, which is currently 1231. Enter the sensor parameter page. Fill in all the new parameters exactly as they are shown on the sheet. Some values may be negative figures.
After completing this, apply values. When this data is stored, you may wish to delete historical sensor records. If you haven't already backed up the data, you can do this now. If your device is operating with Hydran Host software, established connection, the unit history should automatically download. If not, use the express download button. To access the sensor parameters, you will need to open extended mode, password 1253. Then open more, below the line is new sensor gas. Select this and enter level 2 password 1231. Change the parameters using the new sensor parameter sheet and install new. After the gas parameters, enter the moisture parameters. Alternatively, you can connect with both software operating devices with Perception software, either locally or remotely. Establish connection to the required device and update the parameters as shown. Again, level 2 password is required. Currently, 1231. Use the open software to enter the sensor parameters data page, install new and complete. Exit the software only when completed. Alternatively, with Perception, connect to your device running multi-host software. Configure the communications. Enter level 2 password 1231 to enable sensor parameter changes. Open the service menu and enter the new sensor parameters as per the GE Supply datasheet. 
When the new sensor parameters are stored and complete, exit the software. Congratulations, your new sensor will commence immediately. Look forward to more M&D how-to content.